India's investigation agency, the CBI, has taken over the case relating to irregularities in the NEET UG exam that was conducted on May 5th. The agency has filed a fresh FIR against unnamed people in the case. Meanwhile, the sensational revelations of irregularities in India's NEET and NET competitive examinations has triggered significant changes in the National Testing Agency. The government has admitted alleged malpractices in the working of the agency. The major announcement following this, the NTA postponed the NEET postgraduate entrance examination that was scheduled to be held today. The postponement announcement came just a day before the exam further details on the fresh dates for the exams will be notified soon by the National Board of Examinations. However, 1,563 candidates are set to retake the NEET UG exam today in six centres. The Indian states of Meghalaya, Haryana, Chhattisgarh, Gujarat and Chandigarh. The centre has also shaken up the National Testing Agency by sacking its Director General, Subord Kumar Singh. Pradeep Singh Karola will be replacing him as the new Director General of the National Testing Agency. The government has also asked the Central Bureau of Investigation to probe irregularities in the NEET. The government says this is being done to ensure transparency in the conduct of the exams. Earlier, the National Testing Agency postponed the joint CSIR-UGC net examinations for science graduates citing unavoidable circumstances and logistical issues. A teacher's recruitment exam was also postponed. <clears throat> the center has set up a seven-member committee which will be led by a former ISRO chairman. The panel is mandated to ensure transparent, smooth and fair conduct of exams. The committee will make recommendations on reform in the mechanism of the examination process, improvement in data security protocols and structure and functioning of the National Testing Agency. The panel will submit its report to the Ministry within two months. After the announcement of the seven-member committee, Union Education Minister took to his account on X saying that setting up the high-level committee is the first in a series of processes to improve the efficiency of the examination process and put to an end all possible practices. For all the latest news, download the Wion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.